Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it feels really good to be back. I actually was sick for like the past week with the flu, so I might sound a little bit off, but you know, I am back and I am ready to film for you guys, so I'm really excited about that. So I did not do my December favorites and I don't know what happened, like the time just went by so fast that I didn't end up doing my December favorites. So I am going to combine like my December and January favorites into this just because I have been loving the same stuff in December that I was loving in January, except I did add a few things in January. And yeah, so it's just going to be a combination of December and January. So, um, I do have a little to talk about because I have been loving a lot of new stuff. But, um, you know, we're going to get into it because we have a lot of stuff to catch up on. Now, i really been loving this Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. I got this, I believe, I don't know, when it first came out. So I'm not really sure if that was like... January? It had to be because, yeah, it has to be January. I don't even know. Everything is just like going together. Every month is just like kind of combining. So who even knows when I actually got it. But I got it when I first, when it first came out. And it just smells so good because it is like a chocolate bar. So it smells like the other two, like the semi-sweet and the regular chocolate that they put out so it smells exactly the same and you know who can resist that <laughs> so I've really been loving this though because they have a variety of colors they have all different colors they have like the browns they have the neutrals but they also have these like really beautiful pink colors and I love these pink colors to either highlight my inner corner of my eye or to pack on my eyelid it's just really beautiful it's not over the top it's not too shimmery but it's shimmery enough that you can see it and it will just be very vibrant and bold if you really wanted to this color right here Earl Grey is so so beautiful I'll swatch it for you guys that is just so beautiful. This color right here, the Cafe or Latte, probably saying that wrong, <laughs> but I wet my eyeshadow brush and then I just go in with that and pack it on my lids and it just gives vibrant, beautiful silver. The packaging is so amazing, like the other ones. And as you see, it has like the hearts over here. It's all pink, which is one of my favorite colors. And it's a pretty decent size. So this is going to last me a really, really long time. But it's just one of those palettes that I seem to be reaching for every time. And all the time I use it, like if I smell it, it just reminds me of like a beautiful chocolate bar or chocolate candy or chocolate shake. And it just puts a big smile on my face. So I absolutely been loving this. The other palette I actually been loving is these this CoverGirl True Naked Roses. And I got this in an influenza box. I was supposed to do a tutorial for you guys with this and I am going to. I actually am going to film it tomorrow. But yeah, it's going to be a Valentine's Day tutorial. So um, just keep an eye out for that. But yeah, do you see how beautiful this is? It has all these different colors. It has like the really light colors. It has the shimmery colors. It has the deep dark colors. It is all like pink, rosy, mauve colors. And it's just really, really gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And I feel like for CoverGirl, for drugstore, for affordability, like this, it doesn't get any better than this personally for me. I've had some drugstore palettes in the past that were never this rich or creamy. And this is just really rich, really creamy. You don't have to put your finger in there too much to actually get what you want out of these. Now, they can be a tad bit um, loose if you don't be careful with them. But they seem to really work for me. And I really love them. Um... Yeah, and just the pigmentation is gorgeous, the creaminess, the texture of them, the blendability, the wearability on these. This is the only one that I do have. I have to pick up the other two. They have a nude palette, and I believe 
they have another palette. I'm not really sure what that other one is, but I will link it down below. Um, they are just really good. I can't believe CoverGirl came out with such an amazing, affordable palette. So if you are looking for like a drugstore affordability kind of palette that's really worth the money, this one is... Oh, I love this. I bought this off Nordstrom off the rack. Um, I believe it was the beginning of January. And I've really been loving this. I saw these at Sephora to begin with. They don't have all the colors anymore. I guess some are being discontinued or they just took them off the website. But some of them were there. And when I was there, I had to pick up a couple. Unfortunately, a lot of the colors were already like messed with at the store. So I only picked up this one color and I'm really kicking myself in the butt for not picking up another color even though I know those were already opened because I just love this. Look at this color payoff that is just like one little swatch. This is such a beautiful lippy, it's like a lipstick gloss kind of put into one and it just comes off as a nice beautiful liqueur kind of lipstick and it gives you that obviously that like shine, the sheenness that a lip gloss will have, the hydration, the comfort, the wearability, but it has the pigmentation of a lipstick which I love and it just gives my lips a cute beautiful baby pink kind of of lip so on those days where I want to feel a little more girly or I just want that kind of look to my lips this is what I reach for and I just been loving it I've been finding myself reaching for it more and more and I find that you can layer it with you know maybe matte lipsticks or you could put it with other lip glosses and like combine it and it just gives you such a beautiful kind of look sometimes it even gives you that like two-tone look you know the ombre effect so it really is beautiful and it's one of those colors because it is like almost like a baby doll kind of pink that you can give a little more like plump to your lips. So I've really been loving this. I got this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brown Mascara in a haul that I did recently and I will link that down below for you guys. But this is so amazing. I didn't think I was actually going to love this brow mascara as much as I do, especially for how much I paid for it. It is a little more pricey for Wet n Wild. I believe it was like $5 or so. So it is a little more pricier because it's the new Wet n Wild line. I feel like they did raise the prices a little bit. But I don't mind that because this is a really good affordable mascara gel. Personally for me, I was using, let me see, I was using this Benefit Give Me Brow for like the longest time. You know, it gives me that color that I love, the color payoff, you know, the applicator is really small and teeny. So it was perfect for like getting in there and getting like, you know, those hard to reach kind of places. The gel itself is really good as well. I really love it. I just felt like sometimes the color was a little too dark for my eyes, but that was okay because I went with it anyway. I don't mind. My hair is dark. It doesn't matter. But this one is really nice because this one gives you that the same kind of effect that this one does, but the applicator is a little bigger. So sometimes that might be in your benefit, it might not be. But I personally love that it is so big because this way I don't have to go over a couple of times and then like blend it out. You just go over it once and it's done. And it is more of like a liquidy consistency. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is more of a like a liquidy kind of consistency. And I like that about this because I feel like when you do do the application one time, it kind of like spreads out a lot more evenly over the areas that it needs to. And then you can just blend it out and it is a little more easier to blend out. But this does dry hard. So if you're going to do anything with it, like if you're going to blend it out, you need to blend it out now. 
and then let it dry because once it dries it gets really really hard and yeah I just really really love it and compared to this I mean this was five dollars and I believe I paid like 24 or something like that for this and look at the size difference so they are definitely going to last you quite a bit um I'm going to talk about eyeshadow sticks because I have two right here I've really really been loving and I'm surprised because I'm not really an eyeshadow stick kind of gal I don't know eyeshadow sticks are nice but I don't feel like they do anything special especially for my eyes so I usually don't go for them but this has been really nice like these are by Mimi the Mimi box so um, I did get these by the company for testing purposes so yeah um, but I've really been loving it so they are natural colors like this one is more of like a silvery color I don't know if you guys will see that so it's like really good to highlight and it's really good to like maybe pack on and then put something over it and this one is more of a brown I've been really enjoying these. Um, I find different ways to use them all the time. I want to use them. I feel like these two colors are really nice because they are like more everyday natural colors. So those days when you want less makeup or you don't want to look done up, these are good. So yeah, I've just really been loving these two. And um, I'm not really sure the name of these. So I will find out for you guys because they were on the boxes, I believe. And... I have to find the boxes so I will link everything for you guys below again with going with Mimi box um, they sent me this mascara and I've really been loving this because I've only been loving one side though it's a two-sider as you see like this side is for your upper lashes I don't like it at all I'm not gonna lie to you you see like it's just a really odd wand and it's too big for my eyes I actually poked myself a couple of times and it was not fun and then it has like a weird little dome on it so I'm not really sure what that's about um this one though is for your lower lashes now I don't really have anything for my lower lashes anymore and I usually just use regular mascara um, for my lower lashes. This is so amazing for your lower lashes. It is so small. It will just get right in there. You won't poke yourself. I mean, it's so small. You can just like get right in every single thing, you know. Regular mascara, like you have to flip the wand on the other side and go like this. With this, you could just get right in there and you could just use it as normal because it's not a long wand and it's so teeny that you're not going to get like that little black mascara underneath. You're not going to get the smudging and the mascara itself doesn't seem to run. It seems to be very good. It seems to last all day. I love that side. Like I've been using it every time I do my makeup. Okay, so the next up is this Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. I love this. It is amazing. This is like my holy grail right here. Like if you have dry skin like I do, this is going to be a lifesaver, especially in those winter months and especially if you have makeup on like I do all the time. This smells so good. Like it smells almost like coconut to me. It smells amazing and it doesn't seem to irritate my skin it just gives the hydration back to my skin that it needs it does tend to get my face a little red but once I wash it off my face is fine it is not red anymore it just is hydrated it is soft it is supple and it is just it really gives my skin like that that boost of hydration and glowiness that I need I've really been loving this I also got this Tatcha Pure One Step Cleansing Oil. Now, I've been loving Tatcha. I started with the spray, the dewy spray. But this is amazing. It says pure. And I got to tell you, for a cleansing oil, this is so thin. Like, you don't even know you have an oil on your face 
at all. Like I used one pump, felt like I didn't have anything, used another pump, felt like I didn't have anything, did a third time. I was like, okay, now I know I have it on my face. It is so thin for an oil. I've never had an oil that thin, that like pure before. You could just tell it's all good in it. And every time that I use this, and I use it every day in my morning routine, my skin gets so soft, so supple, and it just gives it like a great tone to my skin. Like before and after, you can definitely see a difference in my skin tone. If I don't use this for a day, I definitely see the difference. It just feels so amazing on the skin while you're cleansing with it. And even when you wash it off, like the softness that you get is just amazing. So I've been loving this. Other thing I've been loving is this exfoliator. It's like a huge kind of exfoliator. Do you see this? It's like huge. It goes on for like a mile. And I kind of just use it like this. Like I just, I just use it like this and use it on my body like that. So it is really nice. Um, this one is by Green Heart Labs and it is a really good exfoliator. It's really easy like it for your back if you want to do it like that. It's just a little bit easier. It really gets all your dead skin cells off. It is really good for like before self tanning. It's all natural. Your skin looks so much healthier and glowier afterwards and it just looks a lot a lot younger so it's great it's an amazing product I've been loving this and I feel like because it is like such a big exfoliator like if you wanted to you could cut it if it might last you a little while that way and if you didn't if you just wanted to use it like I do like one time like this it is amazing that way but yeah it's a really really amazing product so I just really been loving that for the month of January and that is it. That is all the stuff I've been loving. So, um, yeah, if you guys did like this video, please give me a thumbs up because it does help me out. And leave me a comment down below. I always love hearing from you guys. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.